I'm here to tell you everything you need to know to optimize your study plan and to tackle the monster as efficiently as possible. Now I've talked briefly about this topic in my previous video and I'll leave a link to that video in the description but just to recap, there are three phases. You have your consolidation phase, your revision phase, and your precision phase. Your consolidation phase is your first three to six months where you use your golden resources and your reference resources and you take all that knowledge and collect it and put it into first aid. Your revision phase is where you take all that collected information and you repeat and revise until you memorize the content. Lastly, your precision phase is that last one to two months where you take that information that you know and you fine tune it and tweak it till you're ready for your exam. Now coming to the consolidation phase, this phase is your first quality run through all the material. Your goal is to learn all the concepts and put all those concepts in first aid. You want to put it in one place so it's going to be easy to revise later. This is a little bit more longer and tedious phase but once you get through this it gets a lot more interesting a lot faster. Just a brief run through first aid, you have your general and you have your system, of which there are 10. Now, I personally like to start with systems and then go to general, and I'll give you an example. Looking at pharmacology, when you're learning about individual drugs like tetracycline and 5-FU, you're gonna learn that they're photosensitive. But if you go to general, they're just gonna say photosensitive drugs and they're gonna list all of them. So by the time you get to that, I'd prefer it be a revision for you and you understand them instead of just memorizing them off the bat. In the method I'm about to describe, each system takes anywhere from 7 to 14 days to complete. Even if it takes longer than this, it's okay. I've said this in every video so far, but I want to reiterate that this is a marathon, not a sprint. Now coming to the systems, let's say each system takes you anywhere from 10 to 14 days to complete. In this first half, you want to learn all your golden resources and your reference resources, learn all the concepts, and consolidate all that information into first aid. You want to go through first aid along with the reference resource. Could be either Boards and Beyond or Kaplan. I personally prefer Boards and Beyond because the material is streamlined according to first aid and it's divided into systems instead of subjects, which makes it a lot easier to go through. Along with these resources, you can use Golion Audio or Pathoma to fortify this knowledge and make sure you're writing everything properly in first aid because you won't have this much time to put in each system again, so this will be your first quality run through all the systems. You should do UWorld on the system you just studied. Each system contains anywhere from 100 to 300 questions, and you should do this in tutor mode. This basically means you get an explanation after each question. Now in the second half, your goal should be to do anywhere from 40 to 60 questions a day. And each block of 40 questions takes anywhere from 5 to 7 hours. It takes this much time because it takes anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half to do the block, and it takes on an average of 10 minutes per question because each question has its own explanation. You're gonna have to learn the concept of each each question, why the other answers were not right, and you're gonna have to write this down in your first aid. You should really focus on a detailed annotation of the UWorld material in first aid. In the next phase, you'll be so focused on revision that you won't have enough time to write everything down in first aid. Now let's use the same example as we did in the last video. In cardiology, let's say you take two weeks. The first five to seven days, you're gonna do first aid along with boards and beyond. And in the second seven days, you're gonna be focusing on UWorld. You're gonna do all 300 questions of cardiology and you're gonna write them down first aid. You can definitely use any resource that you prefer, but I would strongly recommend using these resources as your core and use whatever resource you want to fortify the core material. I'm gonna talk about the mistakes that people normally make. Now mistakes is a very strong word and people do benefit from them, but I do believe that they're more efficient ways to study faster. Personally, I made this mistake myself. I strongly believe that I forgot my core foundation and I thought that I had to go through Kaplan and then I can start first aid. But the more time you put off first aid, the later you're gonna write your test. I studied Kaplan really well. I've done it twice and then went to first aid. But by the time you go to first aid, you forget everything you've read in Kaplan. Sure, you'll hold on to a lot of concepts, but most of it can be learned while doing first aid and new world. Now, Kaplan is a very good resource, but boards and beyond streamlines their material 
material so well, I believe that that's a more effective way to study. However, there are some topics from Kaplan that are taught so well that it's an absolute necessity. So keep watching to find out what topics these are. And while you're at it, please leave a like and subscribe for more USMLE related content in the future. People tend to get impatient and they rush through their consolidation phase and they don't annotate UWorld properly. I know many people that would annotate 220 or 230 of the 300 questions in cardiology and they would get lazy for the remaining 80. But since the second phase of your prep is so tailored around revision and memorization, you won't have time to annotate again. Now everyone I know who made that mistake had to spend extra time in their second round of UWorld to cross check with each question to see if that was the question that they did not annotate in first aid. Now this third one is more of a tip than a mistake. I'm going to explain this with an example. Let's say you finished cardiology, then you did endocrine, and then you did gastro. By the end of gastro, you're gonna forget cardiology. But don't go back to cardiology and try to perfect that system, because even after perfecting it, once you finish three or four new systems, you're gonna forget it anyway. That's why the study strategy is tailored in such a way that your first phase is just for consolidating and learning the concepts, whereas you have your second phase to revise, repeat, and memorize your concepts. Now let's talk about the most effective resources for each in every system. So for all the systems you see on the screen right now, all you need to use is First Aid and Boards and Beyond with UWorld. And you can use your additional resources like Golion or Pathoma to fortify those concepts that you didn't understand very well. But there are some systems with exceptions. For hematology, you don't need to use Boards and Beyond. Pathoma is enough. Pathoma has three chapters on hematology and oncology, and this covers mainly everything in First Aid. For psychiatry, you don't need a reference resource. First Aid is very straightforward and it's enough. All you need to learn for each disease is what the disease is and the criteria. And then you can start UWorld and bridge whatever knowledge gaps you have with UWorld. Next, we have Neurology. Now, Neurology being the most complex and the biggest system of all 10, I believe it requires the most time and effort. Now, for this system, you should watch the Neuroanatomy videos from Kaplan before you start First Aid and Boards and Beyond, just because it is a little more complex and Kaplan teaches it really well. So it's really common to get confused while studying Neurology, so at these times, I really recommend watching Dr. Najib's videos. These videos might be a little long, but they're so well explained and illustrated that there's no way you won't understand the topics after. Now studying the general section of first aid is very similar to the way you study the systems. However, the reference resources are different for different topics. Kaplan is the best resource for biochemistry, immunology, and general pharmacology. Some people like using Kaplan as a reference for microbiology, but I think First Aid and UWorld should be more than enough. If you do need any reference resources, you can use Kaplan or Microbiology Made Ridiculously Simple, but I think that First Aid and UWorld should be more than enough, provided that you use Sketchy Micro in your second phase of studies. For general pathology, I think the first three chapters of Pathoma are more than enough as a resource, whereas for Ethics, 100 Cases by Conrad Fisher is great. Lastly, first aid and new world are more than enough for biostatistics. I'm going to leave a link to all the resources that I mentioned down below. And if there are any other resources that you believe are helpful, please leave it in the comment section down below. And while you're still here, check out some other videos on my channel. My videos are aimed to help IMGs with the entire USMLE process and help them match into residency. Good luck.